Hello guys, this lecture will be about understanding the operation of cascaded high voltage transformer for producing high voltage AC greater than 300 kV. As explained before, single unit high voltage transformer can be used to produce voltage greater than 300 kV due to insulation problems and erection problems, so we use cascaded high voltage transformer. Cascading of transformer means series connection of several identical units of high voltage transformers. So, let's see the operation, construction, and the circuit of cascaded high voltage transformer. This is a schematic diagram of using three cascaded transformers to produce high voltage. Here we have the first transformer, and here we have the second transformer, and here we have the third transformer. First, we have the transformer 1. For the first transformer, we have the primary winding here, and this is the secondary winding. The voltage that's applied to the primary winding, V1, let's say, for example, that V1 is 100 volt for simplification and understanding the operation of these cascaded transformers. And the voltage of the second winding of the first transformer is V2, which is high voltage, of course. Let's say that this voltage is 100 kV. So the primary voltage is 100 volt, and the secondary voltage is 100 kV. But what is this winding? This winding is called an exciting winding, taking from the secondary of transformer 1. The Number of turns of this exciting winding is the same as number of turns of the primary winding. So the voltage that's applied to this winding is the same as the voltage of the primary winding. So the voltage here is V1, which is also 100 volt. This voltage is transferred to the primary winding of transformer 2 here. The primary winding of second transformer has the voltage V1, which is also 100 volt. So, the voltage of the second winding of transformer 2 is, of course, 100 kV. Okay. Also, we have an exciting winding taken from the secondary of transformer 2. It also has the same number of turns of the primary winding of the transformer 2. So, the voltage that's applied to this winding is, of course, 100 volt, and this voltage is, of course, applied to the primary winding of the third transformer. So, exciting winding here plays an important role to transfer the voltage from the second transformer to the third transformer, and so on. So, the secondary winding of the transformer 3 will have the voltage V2, which is, of course, 100 kilovolt. So, Finally, the final output voltage of this arrangement and this configuration will be V2 plus V2 plus V2. So the output voltage will be 3V2. So the output voltage of cascaded high voltage transformers here is 300 kilo volt. This voltage is of course between the high voltage electrode here and the ground here. So, we use the cascaded high voltage transformer for produce, producing voltage above 300 kV as shown. This is the operation of cascaded high voltage transformer. But there is an important observation. For transformer 2, here, transformer 2 is subjected to voltage V2. At this point, this point is subjected to voltage V2. So, the body of transformer 2 is subject to voltage V2. So we should use insulation to isolate between the body of the transformer and the ground. And this insulation here should withstand voltage V2, which is 100 kV. Also, for transformer 3, the body of the transformer 3 is subjected to voltage V2 plus V2. So the body of transformer 3 is subject to voltage 200 kV or 2V2. So this transformer is hold on insulation and this insulation should withstand voltage 2V2. 
as we explained transformer 2 and transformer 3 are holded on insulation due to the voltage applied on them so this is a configuration of three cascaded transformer this is transformer 1 and this is transformer 2 and this is transformer 3 as we see transformer 2 is hold on insulation and transformer 3 also is hold on insulation here also we have the first transformer the second transformer and the third transformer the first transformer is hold on the ground as a voltage applied on it is zero but the second transformer has insulation level here and the third transformer has insulation level here as we notice that the insulation level of transformer 3 is larger than the insulation level of transformer 2 as insulator of transformer 2 must withstand voltage v2 but insulation of transformer 3 must withstand voltage 2 v2 so this insulation is larger than the insulation of transformer 2 so this is the operation of cascaded high voltage transformer now let's see advantages of using cascaded high voltage transformers first generation of very high ac voltage greater than 300 kV. also extension and flexibility of cascaded transformers as we said and explained also size and weight of each individual unit is reduced but disadvantages of cascaded transformers heavy loading of the primary windings for lower stages the primary winding of the transformer one is heavy loaded due to the series connection of the transformers so that's resulted in higher voltage drop for the whole configuration so we can't use many number of units due to the increase in voltage drop so the optimum number of units that can be used is three units so this is a complete understanding of cascaded high voltage transformers in this lecture we understand the circuit operation and the construction of cascaded high voltage transformer thank you